Our good friend John Frankenheimer got his start directing television drama during the mid to late 1950s. One of those that we are able to access, fortunately, is 1959's The Turn of the Screw. An adaptation of Henry James's 1898 novella of the same name, The Turn of the Screw stars the most legendary Ingrid Bergman, who portrays a governess hired to care for the two young children at a large mansion estate in Bly, Essex. Bly is a fictional location created by Henry James for his novella. Oh, and for those who aren't aware, a governess is, uh, apparently, a largely obsolete subset of nannies, who would focus primarily on the educational development of the child or children. The unnamed governess gets to know Flora and Miles, finding them endearing. She learns from the housekeeper, Mrs. Groves, that the previous governess had died. The parents of the children had died in India of fever, and their uncle is the legal guardian, who lives in London and rarely visits the manor. The governess begins to notice the image of a strange man standing outside the manor, gazing at her through the window. She is unsure as to whether she is hallucinating this strange figure. The governess also spies a mysterious woman dressed entirely in black. Flora is also present, but does not see her. The governess believes the woman in black is her predecessor, Miss Jessel. Deducing from Mrs. Groves' description that the male figure is the ghostly reincarnation of deceased valet Peter Kint, she fears that these two spectres have come for the children. The many enigmas of Henry James's novella have mystified literary critics for over a century now, not the least of these mysteries being its chilling concluding moments. Ingrid Bergman would receive an Emmy for her very strong performance in this production. This novella's better known adaptation is, of course, 1961's The Innocents by Jack Clayton, just in case this narrative sounded familiar at all. Very effective production, Frankenheimer's direction is adept and his cast is consistent. The Turn of the Screw is an admirable television drama. Its effectiveness as an adaptation mightn't seem significant compared to the visceral gothic display of Clayton's later film, although insofar as Frankenheimer has directed a more theatrical rendition of this iconic, atmospheric, visually and psychologically potent novella, he has done very well, I think. If you are interested, do seek this out. Anyone who is fond of the novella ought to seek this out, definitely. I would be fascinated by their judgments in particular.